Hello world. I recently bought myself a new frame and wheel setup. The frames are from a company called Endless Blading and the wheels are from Undercover. The important part about this new setup is that the wheel size is 90mm. If you've watched my channel for a while you'll know that I'm a big fan of 80mm wheels. It's predominantly what I roll when inline skating. I do use bigger wheels, namely 110mm in a tri-skate setup but I always tend to migrate back to my 80mm wheels after a few sessions. I just prefer the control I have with them, even if they are a little slower than bigger wheels. I've been wanting to try a 4x90mm wheel setup though for some time. I wondered if this wheel size would still offer great control, but maybe with a little bit more roll and speed. I've been on the lookout for a good 90mm frame for some time, and so when I came across this frame from Endless Blading, I was very interested. I first became aware of endless blading in about March of this year, when I started to see pictures on Instagram of their new frames. To be honest, the first thing that piqued my interest was the design of them. They are a solid looking one piece construction, and so visually quite similar to a wizard frame. Check out any video featuring Sean Unwin from ShopTask if you want to see a wizard frame. Anyway, I absolutely love the design of the endless frame. I find the simple clean look really appealing. After doing a bit of research, I then discovered they were going to offer a 90mm version of their frame, and that it would offer a balance rocker. The balance rocker, in very simple terms, means the first and fourth wheels sit about 1mm off the ground, so providing extra turning ability, but still keeping the frame very stable. I intend to do a proper review of this frame in about a month or so's time, when I've had a chance to really test them out, and I'll also include lots of information about them during this video. However, I did use these frames and wheels in my previous Skatefo video and I got a ton of questions and comments about them and so I wanted to talk a little bit more about them in this video. Endless Blading are a relatively new company based in the USA and they currently have available three different frame sizes including the 90mm version I have purchased. Other than the balance rocker, the other feature of these frames is that they can be used in a tri-skate setup. My 90mm version can also be used with 3x 110mm wheels, although I am yet to test out this feature. This potentially makes these frames very versatile and I think will appeal to a lot of people. If you want more information about these frames, probably the best thing to do is to go to their website www.endlessblading.com. This is what I did. They have a lot of information there including a very good frequently asked questions section and of course plenty of details about all the frames available and a shop to buy them from if you want to. I should point out that I have purchased these frames myself. They cost me about 190 US dollars plus some extra for shipping to here in the UK. After rolling this setup now for a few weeks my first impressions are very positive. The frame is genuinely super stable but offers loads of control. I'm able to do all the moves on this setup that I can on my 80mm wheels. So far I've used the frames with my Seba FR1 boot, see my previous Skateflow video for that, and then in this video I'm using them with my Seba Highlight Carbon boot. Both boots work really well. I'll go into a lot more detail about the frames, wheels and the various setups I've tried in my future review video, but suffice to say I'm very happy with everything so far. I'll leave it there for now, if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. Alternatively, do check out the Endless Blading website. I'll leave a link in the description, along with details of the setup that I've used in this video. Take care, have fun skating, and I'll see you all again soon. Ta-da!